In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Online Storage Limits. So basically, these are the topics that we are going to cover on this. What is SharePoint Online Storage Limits? How we can check SharePoint Online Storage Limits uh, from Office 365 or SharePoint Admin Center? How we can check individually the SharePoint Site Collection Storage Matrix? And then also I'll show you how we can allocate space while creating a new site collection and also i will discuss about sharepoint online storage pricing and we will use pnp powershell or powershell to set storage quota for individual site collection or for the entire site collections whatever presented in your office 365 tenant so we will discuss all these things now let us understand what is this uh, sharepoint site storage that we got by default in Office 365, when you will, whenever you will sign up for a subscription, you will get 1 TB of data plus additionally 10 GB you will get for each license. Let's say you will take 5 licenses, then you will get 50 GB of data. Now if I will open this uh, uh, SharePoint uh, a URL where uh, they provide or Microsoft provides the limits, then you can see here if you have uh, Microsoft 365 business basic standard or business premium plan then in that case you will get 1 TB plus 10 GB per license as I discussed same thing applies for Microsoft 365 E3 E5 or Office 365 E1 E3 E5 plans and also the SharePoint dedicated plans that plan 1 and plan 2 you have so in both these cases you will get 1 TB plus 10 GB uh, per license but if you have Microsoft 365 F1 or F3 or Office 365 F3 license then you will get only 1 TB of data. Apart from that also the storage that uh, that you can have for a particular site or a site collection it is 25 TB that means you cannot increase more than that. So if you are expecting that your site collection will grow very fast or it will be beyond this limits then better you plan it so that you can either store in different different site collections or you can at least split the site collection that you can do because this is the hard limit the maximum limit that you can have for a uh, site collection in SharePoint online. Now if you are new to the channel let me uh, introduce myself I am Vijay a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel you can subscribe to the channel and you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint Office 365 Teams um, you will get on Power Platform everything. Apart from that I have a SharePoint development training course you can see here and this more than uh, 60 plus hours of video course and then there are 23 modules you'll get uh, lifetime access you can check everything module wise I have explained uh, the entire course content you can have a look at this. Now the next thing we will see here is how exactly we can check on the uh, storage basically in a SharePoint online uh, site or let's first check in the office 365 what is the entire that uh, SharePoint uh, storage quota that is available for us to use and then we will see individually. Now if I will open uh, uh, our SharePoint uh, admin center let me just do it so you can just put hyphen admin you can see here and uh, in that if you will go to sites then click on active sites and here you can see the uh, quota here so uh, that is 3.8 GB we have used out of 1 TB now remember this is 1 TB that has been there for my tenant uh, if you are seeing more uh, according to your licensing option you can see your option but here you can see the total that has been allocated and entire site collection that has been used here so this is basically uh, the storage quota that is available for the entire office 365 and remember in any case if you uh, let's say this has been increased uh, or you require more space then ideally you can buy uh, the storage that I'll show you from where you can buy it and apart from that also you can actually buy unlimited storage if you are if you are concerned more about the space then you can actually uh, um, buy unlimited storage now for a uh, for a site collection particular for a site collection let's say for example this is the business site collection this is a site collection so I'll just click over here and you can see here this is a group connected site and uh, here you can check the storage quota that has been allocated for this um, uh, if you are managing manually now that is that thing will come you, uh, we will discuss little later but let's just go to the site information and you can click on view all site settings 
uh, if you are using a classic site you can directly click on the gear icon then site settings and you will come up with this page and here you can go to the site collection administrator and then you can see storage matrix and once you click on that you will be able to see the space that has been used so in this case uh, very minimal uh, items are there or the documents are there so uh, you can see almost everything is free uh, uh, no nothing has been allocated or nothing has been used in fact uh, now remember this is why it is showing that 25 tb you can see here uh, if it if you'll see here this is 25 tb now there is a confusion over here uh, the SharePoint admin center we saw that we have one TB but how come it is showing that you have a, um, you know this image of free space out of your 25 TB now this is actually the entire or the hard limit that has been put for example in this case uh, 25 TB that is what maximum for a site collection it will be and that is the reason you, you can see it here uh, so it will show this way uh, if you will manually manage it then that time it will show you whatever the um, uh, limit that you have put it we will see that now this is where you can actually see uh, the storage matrix now next what we will do is uh, if you will go to uh, basically the SharePoint online site uh, admin center uh, for example this one Microsoft provides the option where you can either Microsoft will manage it or your SharePoint will manage it or you can manage the space. For example, if you will go to the settings, you can see there is an option which is saying site storage limits. And you can see in this case, uh, it is showing that automatic, that means um, it will be managed automatically. So whichever site will require more space, it will be given. And uh, the other one is the manual when you are selecting manual then actually we have to say, we have to set it so i will just save it here you can see i just saved it so if you will again open you can see here now it is manual settings now once you set it manually then if you will go to the active sites and you select a site then you will see a option which is saying storage so which you can click over to edit the storage limit now if you will click over here you can see this is the maximum storage bar for, for this site and by default it is there so you can actually change it now for example i will go here i will put it 5 now 5 gb is what i want for this particular site business i'll click on save so you can see here we saved it now if i will go to the particular site collection and i will just refresh this page we can see here now 5 gb and you can see almost everything is free because i have not used this site uh, for this particular or um, uh, we have not used uh, mostly this site this is there is the reason you can see the space now once you set this option uh, while creating a new site you can also see uh, where you can allocate the space for example if you we'll click on create and i'll create a team site uh, you can see here if you we'll go to advanced settings then you can see here now here you can change for example this is the storage limit and you can provide 10 gb or 5 gb while creating a new site and that is the storage quota that will be allocated this is for the new sites now next what we will do is uh, uh, we will see the pricing now to see the pricing uh, basically um, it is it will cost around 0.18 dollar per gb per month and uh, how we can check this you can basically check it from the office 365 admin center or the microsoft 365 admin center now let us see how we can add additional storage to our office 365 subscription so i will uh, click on admin.microsoft.com you can see here which will open our microsoft 365 admin center and if you'll go to the billing you can expand that then you can see purchase service and once you click on that then uh, it will open all your services you can see here it is checking just some time so i'll i don't need these things i don't need this one as well now you can see here add-ons is there so click on this add-on and it will show you all these add-ons uh, which you can uh, um, either get it free or which you can get it by paying something now if you look at here you can see here office 365 extra file storage you can see this and this is what actually getting in INR so which is uh, approximately 0.18 per GB per month so if you click on details 
then you can see your buy now option from where you can buy it so this is how you can actually add additional storage or you can buy directly and whatever the plans that i have um, included for example if you have a plan of e1 e3 uh, um, e2 e4 e5 or sharepoint plan one and plan two so all these plans are available which you can upgrade so that means you can buy uh, on that so this is how you can add additional storage for uh, for your uh, tenant or for your organization now we will see how we can get sharepoint online site storage uh, by using powershell so and we will use here sharepoint online management shell i have a separate video i have explained how we can use sharepoint online management shell i have everything is installed so i will open powershell isc you can see here i will open it and uh, i have the uh, script also is there let me open it and i'll explain it basically how we can get uh, um, how we can get basically the storage quota for the entire site collection so let me just paste it here you can see i have used connect happen spo service and then this is the admin center url and it will ask us the credential and if you do get happen spo site you will be able to see all the sites here now uh, let me just put the credentials so i just put the credential click on ok once you click on ok you will be able to see all your sites with the details you can see here this is what is the storage quota that we have allocated by default you can see wherever we have changed for example we changed for business 5 gb that's the reason it is showing 5120 uh, there is another site also you can see here i have uh, changed it so that is the reason we will be able to see uh, the changes one or else by default whatever the if you have not set it then what is the maximum uh, that it is showing uh, the storage quota let me open some of the scripts that uh, i have already the code is there you can see here uh, next we will see here how actually we can uh, use same sharepoint online management cell uh, to to set the storage quota for example this is a site let me just copy that url so this is our business site so i will put business here and you can see we are allocating storage quota of uh, here 10 gb so if i will run it this the code is simple we can use set hyphen spo site and then provide the site url and then this is the storage quota this is the parameter and this one is on uh, uh, basically the mb so it will be uh, as 10 gb now if you have for the scripts i have written an entire article for the same where you can get the script so you can see here i'll put the credential so i'll click just on ok and once you set ok it will take uh, some time and then you can see now you can see here it runs successfully now let me open the site you can see here this is our business site it was showing 5 gp if i will actually refresh it we should be able to see 10 gb you can see here because we have by using powershell we set 10 gb for this particular site collection now same way i have the other script let me just explain it here uh, you can see um, if you want to allocate space for your all your sites then we can use this command so uh, you can use get hyphen spo site limit all to get all the sites and then you can have a for each loop and in this for each loop you can run set hyphen spo site and this is the storage quota that you can provide so if you will run this command then it will set 10 gb for each of your site collection in your office 365 tenant the last one is you can see uh, if you want to use pnp powershell again i have a video i'll i will uh, put that link in the video description where you can see how we can start with pnp in sharepoint now this is the command so you can use uh, you can use connect hyphen pnp online and in this case you can directly provide the site url you don't need or office 365 or sharepoint admin center url so you can connect to that uh, particular url and then you can use set hyphen pnp uh, a tenant site then provide the url and the parameter here is a storage maximum label and then you can provide your uh, let's say 10 uh, to 40 which is 10 gb so now this is how we can use pnp powershell also um, this code are ok tested you can uh, i have already put in the article where you can get it and you can try it out 
now this is about the sharepoint online uh, site storage quota and if you if you want similar kind of videos then as i said you can subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos thank you and have a nice day